going on? Ryan Zelowitz here with Fran Bashilla of ESPN. We're here at the Hoop Group Academic Elite Camp out in uh, Albright College. This is your second year here. Yeah. Last year in the lecture, you talked about being efficient with your weekend. What were some of the messages that you were trying to convey in this year's lecture? Well, rather than get everybody on, uh, up on, on the court and demonstrate and, and do some of the weekend stuff we did last year, we, I, we talked about really the idea of playing with other good players. Close players need to play know how to efficiently play with a perimeter player and vice versa. And so that was a big thing today is just to get these young players to understand that they may be the best guy in their high school team, um, but there's a chance that when they go to college, whether it's Division three or Division one, there are going to be other good players on their team. Their role is going to change. And, but even as their role changes, they won't have success individually and as a team unless they know how to play with teammates exactly. so a big guy needs to know how to play with the guard and so what we did was took them through some of the nuances mm -hmm. of how to help each other on the court and how to make a team better. This is your second year here. Mm -hmm. Last year your older son was here. Yeah. This year your younger son. Yeah. As a parent, why would you send your player to a camp like this? Well I think, you know, we live in Texas now and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and being a product of East Coast basketball as long as I was uh, and knowing Rob and, uh, and the Kennedy family as long as I have. I worked at the Pocono Invitational Camp back in 1978. I bet you didn't know that. I was a college sophomore uh, and had a great experience up there as a counselor. And some of my friends in coaching today were guys that I met there. But um, I, I always like getting my sons exposed to East Coast basketball. And uh, in Texas, both my boys uh, are good high school players, but the type of schools that they might be attracted to academically are probably not always going to be in the Texas region. Um, there's a lot of great academic Division two and three schools in this part of the country. And so that's another reason. But ultimately, it's just to get out of the cocoon and get them out playing with kids from other backgrounds, different parts of the country. I always think that's healthy. And both my boys were born in the East, so they kind of think of themselves as New York guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So obviously, exposure is a big thing, yeah. and what you just embarked on was a uh, competition. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, in the South now, playing Texas, how do you feel uh, they're going to uh, look at different competition with the East Coast and a camp like this with players from all over? Yeah, it's good. I mean, you know, Texas has good high school basketball. Mm -hmm. It really does. It's uh, really underrated. Not not only it's not underrated anymore because no, it's it's, uh, it's one of the best hotbeds of basketball in the country. So there's a lot of great competition there. But at the same time, you always want to try to get around and see how other guys play the game, uh, get exposed to other methods of coaching. Um, each year my boys have come here, they've been really well coached in the stations and on their team. So, um, And it's fun for me because I get to come back east. I'm just kind of a parent <laughs> this week, lecture a couple times, hang out here uh, as a basketball parent, get to see some friends uh, of mine that I've met through the years through basketball. So it's kind of a busman's holiday for me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and it's fun watching you kids play. That all the camp is only four days. How do you feel through your Tucson's uh, player development? How they improve? The how they improve? Well, I think, yeah, they, they definitely have. I mean, um, what I like, again, you come to a camp like this, the coaches put you in a structured offense. Uh, the stations are really good. And um, it's, I, I'd be shocked if it was any different because of, you know, Rob and Rob and the Kennedy family's reputation when it comes to running great basketball camps. You talk about the Bob Hurley's and all the great coaches that come up here and coach and lecture. And just so you're, you know, for, for both my boys to have the exposure to a camp like this is, uh, is really positive. And it's just another layer onto their basketball experience in the summer, getting them ready for their high school season. In this case, my younger son, Matt, is a former junior. Former collegiate coach. Yep. What do events like this have, have to offer for a college coach? Well, you know, as, as a, I don't care if, you, if you're a Division three or two or one, uh, this is a time of year where you're always beating the bushes mm -hmm. and looking for players. And, uh, you know, this the academic elite camp, obviously, this week, there's more Division two and Division three uh, coaches here because that's the level of player. You know, that'll change at the end of the week when the, the elite camp starts. But still, you know, you, um, I love watching the coaches out here looking for the sleepers. And, you know, uh, I've seen some guys at camp that I'm convinced uh, are going to be tremendous, either small college players or even potentially, you know, could fit in an Ivy League Patriot League situation. So even though I'm watching uh, as a parent, I'm also watching as a college co ex college coach saying, boy, that guy 147, he can shoot it, you know. Out of that. Big guy is a good, you know, gives you good effort. So. Yeah. Um, I used to enjoy this time of the year as a head coach of Manhattan or St. John's.
get in my car and driving all over the East Coast looking for sleepers. That's what it's all about, right? If you got to have play, you know, you can't win the Kentucky Derby with, <laughs> with mules. You got to have thoroughbreds. Exactly. Thank you very much for your time. Brian Zell, let's go with Fran Fischilla. Thanks. We'll be back soon.